as a cost-effective handheld that runs both PS1 and SNES games, Pocket Go 2 is widely welcomed by retro console players. Yet, someday one might wake up and find, I can't turn on my Pocket Go 2, how can I get back to my games ASAP? Yeah, we know you might feel angry, but don't worry, we won't let this tiny defect stop you from embracing your lovely, vivid gaming world. It's a small problem that can be solved by simple steps. We recommend you five measures to try on. You can see which one fits your situation. Most would find the problem can be solved by the first two, so you won't bother to try the others. First things first, please make sure your handheld has enough power to be activated. In this case, try and charge your PG2 for two to three hours before turning it on. The rest of the methods is like what's been said in the IT crowd. Have you tried turning it off and on again? It's cliche, but it works universally. If your battery is charged but not working, try reinstall the battery. Simply take the battery out and put it back to where it was. Psst, psst. Remember to do it while TF card is in its slot. Carefully take the TF card out, then reinsert it to the same place. If it didn't work, try method B after TF card reinsertion. This situation can be a little complicated and it usually won't happen. But if it unfortunately happens to you, buy a new battery to replace your current one. Please make sure your battery is a specified model. Remember to do it while TF card is in its slot too. I know it's boring, but it's important. And finally, if the former 4 methods doesn't fit your situation, try to flash your firmware. Days ago, we had made a new video on showing how to install the firmware on Pocket Go 2. Check it for more details here. We believe these methods we introduced perfectly debug this little deficiency. Now your handheld's ready to go. Thanks for watching and enjoy playing this magical, charming gadget.